Hey, Hebrew fan. T today we're going to talk about loincloths and shorts, how to take them off, how to put them back on. Now, it's funny, uh, a couple weeks ago, my wife um, was watching me take off a loin or put a loincloth on a figure. I said, hey, wait, wait, wait. Grab my phone and record me doing this. I told someone online that I would record how to do this. And then I realized I don't have any footage of how to take one off. So tonight I set up my tripod and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull off these Batman shorts and show you how to do it. Um, one thing you're going to need is first get some hot water and then you're going to, don't burn yourself, clean off the hot water. Then take a flat tip screwdriver and just slide them up in there and release all the paint all the way around. Now because this particular Batman has two different leg holes, it's a little bit harder than it is for like a He-Man's loincloth. So use both leg holes, loosen it all the way around first, then once you get it loose, then you can just slide it into the top and then pull it off. So let me show you how to do this. So you slide it into the top. Now one side is wider than the other. You want to put it on the wide side and that's usually on the right. So you want it on the right side. Now as you start to do this, the loincloth may start to stiffen up because it starts to cool down. So just be prepared that if you have to, to put it back in hot water if needed. You don't want to stretch it while it's cold because then you'll actually ruin it. So in this case, the Batman one was very rubbery, um, so it wasn't too bad. But again, I, as you can see, I had to heat it up, make sure that uh, it stays hot as you do this because you don't want to deform the loincloth because when you put it on another figure, you want it to look good. Now notice I pulled the legs off first. This is much easier to take it off that way. So pull the legs off first before you do this. And to take the legs off, it's the same procedure. Heat them up really hot and then pull the legs off. All right. And there is the loincloth removed. And that's how it should look. So now let's talk about how to put the loincloth on. Now this is where my wife actually helped me film this. The camera's a little bit shaky, sorry about that. Um, it's her first time helping me, so I, I don't want to complain. She did a great job. So installing a loincloth, here's the process. First, get it really hot. Um, especially the ones that are more plasticky, you gotta get them extra hot. And in this case, I'm putting a, a King Grayskull loincloth onto um, an Ular figure. Now, the right side's a big side, the left side's a small side, so make sure you orientate that correctly. And you take the screwdriver and you just slide it up over the legs and then have it sit in that little spot right there where the, the um, leg part is. Hopefully I get a better view of this. There you go. And then heat it up. You gotta keep this one warm the whole time. Keep it hot. Sometimes it'll burn your fingers. Now be careful not to stab the screwdriver through. Now. The worst thing I see people do is cut the loincloths, never cut them off. If you do, it's going to make it really hard to install later on. Just keep pulling it out and pushing that up into the seam. That's the hardest part about it is to get that edge back in the seam. It may take a little bit of uh, finessing to get it in there. Make sure it's in there all the way. If not, just take and pull it out and push that back into the seam. Now, you can see right there it's not quite in there. You just push that part right up and force it back into the seam. Now it's going to be a little loose to fix that. Just slide it back in the hot water and that will tighten right up. And there you go. The loincloth is replaced. 